In this tutorial, I will explain how to work with images in AwareIM, how to upload them, view them, how to use them in queries and forms. In order to work with images, you have to define an attribute of the picture type. For many scenarios, this is literally all you have to do, because AwareIM will automatically provide all the functionality to upload the image, store it, and view it. Let's implement this simple scenario first, and then we'll have a look at some more complex ones. So if we have a business object, all we have to do is add an attribute of the picture type to this object. Let's create a simple folder object. I will add an, an, an attribute called description. And most importantly, I add the actual folder attribute of the picture type. The attributes have been automatically added to the form of the object, so we're pretty much done. I will not be using this particular object though. I have only created it to show you how to define a picture attribute. Instead, let's use the object from the photo album sample application that already has some nice looking forms and queries. The application allows users to manage their photo albums and upload photos into these albums. It has the photo object which is similar to the object that we have already created except that it has more attributes in it. But most importantly it has the display photo attribute of the picture type which at the moment is just like the default picture attribute we have created. So let's see how it works. So let's log into the photo album sample application. Let's go to an empty album and upload a photo into the album. When I click on the Upload Photo button, the form of the photo object is displayed and we can see the control representing the picture attribute. It has the Select Files button that AwareIM generated automatically. When we click on this button, we can select the image to upload. You can see now that the image is immediately displayed in the form. Let's specify some parameters of the folder and save the form. When the form is saved, the image is automatically uploaded to the system and stored in the database. The photo is then displayed as part of the album. I will show you later how this is done. Let's now go back to the form of the photo object. If we click on the image, the picture control slides out. Here we can upload a different image or delete the image altogether. So just by adding an attribute of the picture type to our object, we automatically get the functionality to upload the image to the database, show it in the form and manage it, all done by AwareIM automatically. Let's now upload another image. When an image is shown in the form, we can see that the image is too big for this form and the form looks really ugly. To prevent this from happening, we can get AwareIM to automatically scale down all the images that the user tries to upload to a particular width and height that looks good on this form. To do this, we go to the presentation options of the picture attribute and select scale picture to fit width and height of 200 by 200. Let's see how this works.
If we try to upload the image now, we can see that it displays very nicely on the form. Forms are not the only place where images can be shown. You can also show images in query results. This applies to query results with standard representation using grids and query results using custom representation. Let's have a look at the standard queries first. The photo album sample application does not have queries showing images in the standard form, so let's add it as an illustration. I will create a query that will show photos of the selected album using the standard form. The query will look for the photo object and it will assume that the selected album is in the context. The album stores not photos but album items object, objects and each album item stores a photo. So our query will look like this. We will find photos where there is an album item that includes this photo and belongs to the album in context. We now need to make sure that we include the display photo attribute into the list of attributes shown by the grid. Let's also show the category and the name of the photo. Let's now add our query as an operation to the initial query that shows albums for the logged in author. So I add an operation that runs the query that we have just created. Let's see how this works. So now, when we log into the application, we can see the button here that invokes our query. Let's run it. As you can see, the query displays all photos of the album. For each entry, it displays name, category, and an image. The problem is that again, the image is too big and the query looks ugly. Luckily, we can use the same technique to automatically scale down the image that we used for forms. So we go to the presentation options of the picture attribute again. And this time, we select scaling options when the image is displayed inside queries. And we select scale picture to fit 150 by 150 pixels. Let's see how it looks now. When we go back to the browser and run our query again, we can see that it looks much better now. The other place in where I am where, can, where we can display images is queries or reference attributes represented by a custom form. A custom form of query results is just an HTML snippet that is displayed for each record found by the query or stored in a reference attribute. You need to provide this snippet when you define the query. This HTML snippet can refer to the values of the attributes stored in a particular record. If we look at the images of the album shown here, they are displayed using a custom HTML snippet. Let's have a look at this snippet. The images shown for each album are stored in the album items reference attribute of the album object. This attribute is included in the image gallery form of the object. So if we go to the presentation options of this attribute on the form, we can see the custom HTML snippet. This bit here shows the image. You can provide your custom scaling of the image 
by defining width and height attributes, like it is done here. In order for our queries to look good, both standard and custom, we usually scale the image down. But quite often we still want the system to show the full picture of the image in its natural size. For example, we want the system to show the full photo when the user clicks on the scale down representation of the, of the image. To enable this functionality, we go to the presentation options of the picture attribute again. and tick the Show Actual Representation when Thumbnail is clicked checkbox here. Let's see how this works. So now, when I log into the application and click on the photo here, I see the nice, real-size version of the image. Similarly, if we go to the standard query, and click on the image, we see the large version of it again. Note that if we want to show the actual size of the image, there is an option for us to store both versions of the image, the thumbnail representation and the actual representation. We go to the presentation options of the picture attribute again, and here we have these options. This can be useful if you don't like the automatic scaling of the image and you want to provide your own version of the thumbnail. If you want to do this, you need to define two attributes of the picture type and the object. One to store the thumbnail and one to store the actual image. Then you would need to link them together and provide the name of the attribute storing the actual image here. You can also display images as circles, and I will show this to you shortly. Picture attributes can also be used to represent signatures, if you tick the Picture Represents Signature checkbox here. In this case, a variable will generate a completely different user interface. It will not let you upload images, but instead it will allow you to enter your signature. The signature will then be uploaded as an image and stored in the database. The CRM sample application includes a signature attribute in its custom object. Let's have a look. So we have the signature attribute here, and as we can see, the picture represents signature checkbox is ticked for this attribute. Let's see how it works. So now I logged in the CRM sample application. Here we can see the list of customers. By the way, it is a standard query that includes the photo of the customer represented as a circle. If we go to the customer form, we can see the signature tab which shows the signature attribute. And this is the user interface that AwareAIM generates for signatures. The user can sign using this control here. And when the form is saved, this signature is saved as, as an image in the signature attribute.